Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Kurigam Evan. In today's episode, we will see the Power Apps licensing uh, in details. So let's start. In this episode, we will see the types of Power Apps licensing, pricing model of each license, and developer programs that Microsoft provides no licensing needed and it is they those are hundred percent free so let's start with uh, types of power apps licenses first we have Microsoft 365 license if you join an organization or a company as a Microsoft 365 developer or engineer or support person your organization will create an account for you and they will provide you a basic uh, office 365 e3 or e5 license as per their company policy so in that Microsoft 365 license you will get power platform seeded or inbuilt but with limited capabilities like you won't be able to use premium connectors and all no premium features you will be able to access but to start as a fresher or you need to build an app which doesn't need any premium feature then this option is good for you then we have power apps premium license uh, people call it per user license also which is widely called as per user license uh, then we have power apps per app license uh, it is widely called as per app license then we have power apps per app pay as you go license it is it, it, it is basically uh, inserted into azure subscription so we will look into it in details so first as i said uh, office 365 license so it is a user based license because this office 365 license is provided to an individual user and it uses only standard connectors and functionalities no premium functionalities or features can be used so if you go to azure portal and under users if you search your name if you see the licenses assigned to your name and if you see that Office 365 E3 or Office 365 E5 licenses provided to you, that means uh, you can straight away start, uh, start with your power up journey from there. So this is our first license. Then we have Power Apps Premium License. This is a user based or per user license because it is given to an uh, individual person. It equips user to run unlimited applications like unlimited applications with it can be canvas apps or model driven app. It equips to access unlimited power pages websites. Then of course you can use all the premium functionalities like premium connectors, AI builder, uh, dataverse, uh, managed environments everything so i call it a super plan so if you have it you are all sorted next we have power apps per app plan so this is a per app plus per user license you know so when you buy this license you are basically buying one app then you give subscription licenses per user to that app so individual user can run one custom application that can be model driven or canvas app or access one power page website with full power apps capability then license stacking is possible license stacking means uh, today you have bought this license and uh, this license comes up with just one application or one website so next time you want to uh, bundle up with two one more application that come that becomes two applications so that stacking of applications is possible in this license so this license is added added on the environmental level so once you buy this license it is there in your power platform environment you create an app and share that app to a user so here once the app is created and shared with a user uh, so this is considered as a consumption of license so consumption you can see here 
so user one is using uh, there are supposed two environments environment one and environment two so user one is uh, uh, using app a and b and portal one in environment environment one so three app licenses are consumed user two is using application a and application b in environment one and application c d and portal two in environment two so five licenses are consumed and user three is using application a in environment one and application c in environment two that means two licenses are consumed now this point is very important if same app or website exists in two environments suppose application a is available in environment 1 and environment 2 a user will require two per app user subscription licenses to access both next we have power apps per app pay as you go license so this is a pay as you go power apps license but when the license will, will be assigned and you go to azure portal or somewhere and you see the name of this license appears as power apps per app active user one license so if you see this name that means you are using power apps per app pay as you go license it supports only one app it can be canvas app or it can be a model driven app but no website it supports then this is part of a Azure subs subscription. To avail this um, license, you first need to have an Azure, Azure subscription account. Then on top of it, you can avail this license. No upfront Power Apps license purchasing is needed with this plan. Only pay when the app is used. It is particularly based on active users. Now usage meter, how active users are defined you know so one user uses one app at least once a month is equal to active user if i am a user and under this pays you go license i have one application and every month at least once i am using i'm logging in and i'm using that app so i am an active user so that's all about uh, the licenses so we have seen four licenses one is m365 license and three are power apps core power app licenses mm, now uh, we will see the pricing model of each license uh, i won't cover the microsoft 365 license here we will see the pricing model only for the three core power apps licenses so power apps premium license so the price of this license is $20 per user per month. It includes unlimited apps, unlimited websites, all standard plus premium connectors, AI builder access, full Dataverse access, Dataverse DP capacity of 250 MB, Dataverse file capacity of 2 GB, and of course it supports managed environments next we see power apps per app license so the price of this license is dollar five per user per app per month this includes one app or one web website all standard plus premium connectors, AI builder access, full Dataverse access, Dataverse DP capacity of 50 MB, Dataverse file capacity of 400 MB, of course manage environments. Then lastly we have Power Apps per app pay as you go license. So it comes as $10 per active user per app per month. It, it is a per per app li license only but pay as you go so it is ten dollars and it depends on active users so suppose uh, we we can take a very good scenario here so suppose you have one application and you have ten thousand users who can 
use this application you have shared it with 10000 application uh, uh, 10000 users S but only 10 or 5 5 users are coming monthly regularly and actively using that app you will be charged only for those 5 users not for the 10 10000 users you know so this is a good use case when you can uh, purchase this license <laughs> then this license includes only one app all standard plus premium connectors full dataverse access it excludes ai builder also dataverse usage is pay as you go next we have developer programs no licensing needed 100% free so first is microsoft 365 developer program this dev uh, microsoft 365 developer program comes with uh, 25 free uh, e5 licenses full microsoft ecosystem apps like sharepoint teams power platform but with limited capabilities the seeded one we spoke about it in our first few slides if you remember it keeps on renewing in every three months if not active for 90 days it will be deleted but yes you will get emails that it, it is going to be deleted so you can go and modify and work on your environment then it won't be deleted so once you have your uh, microsoft 365 developer program there you can you can practice your power platform but it is it comes with a limited capability but you want to access the premium capabilities for free in that case you need to enroll for another pro program that is power apps developer program so for using this first you have to join microsoft 365 developer program on top of it you can uh, you can join uh, power apps developer developer program so it gives you three uh, developer power platform environments so you can create your solutions like real time scenario you can uh, you can have three environments dev test and production and you can deploy your solutions from one environment to another so you can play around so it's very it's very good that uh, it comes up with three developer power platform environments then we have <coughs> all premium connector access in this developer program no ai builder and rpa power automate uh, these are not included and you have only 750 power automate runs if you are uh, using power automate of course you will be using power automates also only 750 power automate runs available mm -hmm. sorry for this comes with 2 gb space per environment no renewal needed but if inactive for 90 days it gets auto deleted so that's it guys in my coming episode uh, we will see uh, how to create a microsoft 365 developer program from start to end followed by uh, how to create power apps developer program start to end so stay tuned and if you like my video please subscribe like comment and share thank you bye